Hey guys, Anthony here with quadquestions.com and I just wanted to show you this camera setup that I've got going on with the CMR 250. This is my personal quad so you know, obviously it's a little bit uh, crazy right now because I've got all these new experiments going on with it but I wanted to show you my camera setup on this quad. I want to apologize in advance for the mess of my desk here uh, but I've been doing a lot of cool stuff lately you can see here, if I want to control my camera, I just have it set to my three-way switch on my 9X here. If I want to look down, I just put my switch down. If I want to look middle, I just point my switch middle. If I want to look up, like if I'm flying forward flight, I just go up. So. Uh, and then I've got my gimbal set on this switch back here. And like I said, I don't like to fly like this very often, but it's cool to show your friends. So you can see as you're flying, you know, it's handy. So if you get uh, flying in this angle, you know, so if you're going for fast forward, forward flight, you can just have it set like that. Then you can be going in fast forward flight and still be seeing where you're going. So if you can see here, I've got the Sony Superhad CCD2 600 TVL camera set up. But it's not set up in a typical fashion. It's actually made so that I can pivot it. And if you look here, I've got it connected to to the servo down here. And it's connected via this, um, this piece of wire. But basically, what I can do with this uh, is I can adjust this thing on the fly as I'm flying. So if I'm doing forward flight, I can just tell my camera to move up like that. If I'm doing level flight, I can go back to level. Then if I want to see what's below me, I can actually tilt my camera down a little bit uh, to see what I'm looking at. This is so handy for flying these things because normally if you just have a fixed camera, uh, you end up looking at the ground most of the time. You don't end up seeing where you're going. And a lot of the professional pilots that you see uh, they'll have their cameras just pointed up like this all the time, but then it makes it really hard to just kind of hover the thing around. So um, I'm going to show you guys how I did this. Uh, it's all controlled by the by the Naze 32 flight controller, and uh, actually had the extra outputs on the flight controller to do this, which was really awesome. Okay, so one of the really cool features of this is you can actually have the camera automatically level itself. I don't know how well you can see that. Try a different angle here. You can have that camera auto level while you're flying. And the Naze 32 is actually the thing that's controlling that. Uh, it's kind of a cool feature. Uh, I don't actually highly recommend that because uh, it makes me pretty seasick when I'm flying and I have the camera automatically leveling for me. Uh, see if I can get in here and show you this view. That's a little bit better. So in order to enable this servo to work with the Naze 32, I've actually got the gimbal setting turned on, and I'll show you that on the computer. But uh, that gimbal servo or gimbal servo is on uh, number one here of the output. Then uh, I like to set up my quads. I've got number one uh, to that servo. Number two is not active, but that could be like a a. Uh, pan servo if you wanted to do that um, it's got the capabilities to set that up and then I've got my four servos for my ESC's here uh, and then I like to wire them all into one connector so it's nice and clean one two three and four uh, respectively uh, but when you enable the gimbal uh, it basically shifts the number one ESC to the third pin instead of the first pin uh, to allow you to use that uh, gimbal servo 
on uh, channels one and two. So, okay, so to set up that uh, camera servo in the CLI, basically all you need to do is uh, enable feature servo tilt, and you just do that down here. Uh, you just type in feature. Servo tilt. And then you see enable featured uh, servo tilt, and that's how you know that it's set up. And once you do that, uh, that's going to be the thing that moves the um, motor number one to pin output number three. Uh, and then you can go up here to the uh, servos tab, which wasn't. Um, enabled before and you can look at your servo settings and for this quad I had to turn on aux 4 as my uh, as my control switch and then set it to a rate of 85 and this is really going to depend on your setup uh, but it, that basically tells you um, for pitch for my pitch servo I've got my switch on auxiliary 4 controlling it and then I had to adjust my direction to make that thing work. So when I flip the switch up, uh, I've got the camera looking down and that's why you see a negative number there. But I've got it here, so if I flip up, camera's looking down, camera's looking straight, and then camera would be looking uh, towards the ground. So, um, so you've got that there. And so here you can see my switch settings in aux 4, which is my three-way switch. I don't have anything uh, programmed on there. No, I guess I could program it, you know, so uh, so maybe if I have the switch turned to the middle, I could have uh, angle mode turned on, and then when I'm flying a gyro, I could be locked on, on full tilt ahead, but uh, for now I just have it empty. So all that switch does is control my camera. And, uh, you know, it uses up one of your uh, switches on your radio, which is kind of a pity, uh, but it's so worth it. I mean, it'll just change the dynamic of how you fly your your quad, and uh, it's changed the way that I fly, so it's it's highly recommended.